my name is Mr. T. T. Pinar, the principal of Nolifefe uh, Public School, situated in Maglia, in the local municipality of Elund in Eastern Cape. We are a school here where there is a high rate of uh, poverty, hence our learners are, are struggling, but through the support by the Department of Education, through the minimum funds, we are able to get edu a, a education to go forward. We have been given an opportunity by the Department of Environmental Affairs to perform uh, at a function at UK which was held on the 11th of February this year 2016 about the awareness on how to protect the wetlands and as well as the importance of protecting them. And uh, through that uh, performance we were picked uh, by an NGO called IGLE. That's why now uh, today we are to have now our opinion uh, to the whole world as to why is it important for us to conserve nature. I am Loiso Mdia. I work for the Department of Economic Development, Environmental Affairs and Tourism. So in all fair was invited in the wetlands or uh, during the wetlands the wetlands day at uh, UK to come and present there. I'm Timbisili Halafala, the teacher here in Nofofa Public School. What has inspired me to be uh, the writer of the script or the producer of the, of the um, drama on wetlands is that I very, I'm very much interested in environmental matters and I believe that the, the, the script is part of environmental education. To me, environmental uh, education symbol means that the recognition of value in order to develop his skills, in order to develop the ability to appreciate the environment and also in order to develop the positive attitude towards the environment. The reason why education is so important to me, to me it basically means it for the kids in fact, I think it changes them, it reshapes them towards appreciating the environment as well as producing or promoting that sense of responsibility. They become responsible citizens. A changed mind is a strong mind. So if we can, we can educate them so much that they become empowered and strong enough to understand the value of what they've got. So I think it will, it will, we, are here, we are going to have a better country to live in. Ooh. 
Bonam Shanche, as in Jao, as if she gets a bank, who knows I love us if in Cabaco Natalepinans or two to Africa. In Cabaco Natalepinas is the Sakuti Sons at Africa. In Cabaco Pella than Catalo Evantuin. In Cabasi Fiki, the Pussy Pella Sam Shab. Sam King, come on, Macquarante. La Pelli is a Sibuka as an environmental officer. Let me explain to you what a wetland is. A wetland is a land that is circulated with water either permanently or seasonally, such that it takes on characteristics of a distinctive ecosystem. These are areas where terrestrial as well as aquatic ecosystems come together. Water in a wetland can be fresh or brackished. They are found anywhere. They can be found from the top of the mountains right down to the seas and oceans. They are everywhere in the world. Yes, they occur naturally or can be constructed as a water management tool. They include flood plains, lakes, estuaries. We might take off our wetlands because they're very important to us. Yes, they are very important to us. Fellow Africans, do you know why wetlands are important? They are important because they are nurseries whereby fish can grow before returning into the sea. Different wetlands plants like reeds, water lilies, and floating plants grow well in wetlands. They are beauty to our areas and attract tourists. Animal groups found in wetlands include insects, fish, amphibians, marine mammals, forest birds like crowned crane, a variety of snakes, and other animal species. They are not only important to our areas, but also into international travelers. For example, in winter, birds migrate from Europe and Asia to South Africa every year to avoid the northern winter and to feed here. This means that we have an international duty to conserve our wetlands so that these birds can survive. That is not enough. The important also include the fact that they improve the quality of water. They are food for livestock. They stabilize the coastal zones. They are of cultural value. They are habitat to different plants and animal species. Parents, leaders, brothers, sisters, sons and daughters of Africa. This is the time that we begin to appreciate these treasures. Even that is not enough. Some benefits of wetlands include the fact that they reduce floods, they purify water, they regulate stream flow, they prevent erosion, they provide fishing and hunting grounds, they provide food and cultivation land. There are sources of water in dry season. They provide handcraft fibers. As a climatologist, let me tell you this. There's a relationship between wetland vegetation and climate change. Climatic problems like drought contribute a lot towards the drying up of our wetlands. On the other hand, floods wash away important plants and animals. Let's preserve and protect our wetlands so that the future generations can enjoy them. Programs like working for water and working for wetlands are mainly focusing at rehabilitating our wetlands. Rehabilitation addresses both cause and effect of degradation of our wetlands. They put together the wise use of wetlands with job creation and poverty alleviation. These programs were initiated and supported by the Department of Environmental Affairs and Water Affairs. These programs are not only aiming at water protection, wise use, and rehabilitation, but also at skills and capacity development. Education research shows that 48% of our wetlands are critically endangered, 12% are endangered, and 5% are vulnerable. Only 11% of our wetlands are protected. This means that we have a long way to go. That's true. 
Although our wetlands are important, they are in danger. Our wetlands are facing problems like development. Development has changed our wetlands. Some have been drained to provide land for building houses, shopping malls, roads, hotels, etc. Others have been invaded by alien plants. These plants use a lot of water and can dry up wetlands. Business people, there is nothing wrong with development. It only becomes a problem if it destroys our environment. Let us practice sustainable development, the type of development that thinks about the future generation. Even farmers do contribute towards the destruction of our wetlands. Farming activities also contribute to the destruction of our wetlands. For example, the illegal irrigation channels dug by farmers large-scale cultivation, poor agricultural practices, overgrazing is another threat to our wetlands. These caused other lakes to float up. Other problems include erosion, deforestation, mining, unsustainable water use, felt fires, rubbish dumping, pollution and others. We need to protect our wetlands. As a tourist and a businesswoman, I think one has play a major role in attracting tourists to our country. Tourists visiting our country means more job opportunities opened up. There are many wetlands within our country. Some are big and some are small. For example, the Khabek wetland in Yuki, the St. Lucia Park in Guazulu Natal, which was declared as South Africa's first national heritage. This is the only place in the world which is habitat to the, to the, to the biggest mammals like rhinos, buffaloes, African elephants, biggest marine mammals like whales and other animals. Let us protect our wetlands because they are huge in top areas. They create jobs for the people. As an environmental officer, everyone here has a solution to this problem facing our wetlands. And this lies within me and you. I mean the old and the young, the educated and the uneducated, the rich and the poor. Yes, wetlands are the most threatened ecosystem. According to the research, South Africa has lost more than half of its wetlands. We are proud that our country has signed an international agreement called Ramsar Convention. We can protect our wetland by constructing artificial wetlands for treating raw waste, mining waste, industrial and agricultural waste, by restricting access to these areas, by educating people about the importance of wetlands, by evaluating them regularly to avoid land degradation. It is important to conserve wetlands because they benefit both people and animals. South Africa's wetlands are under threat. We need to act now. We need to act now. We need to act now by reducing, recycling, and reusing things. Let us go back home and take care of these treasures. Let us not be selfish. Let us not only think about ourselves. Let us think about those who will inhabit this land and those of the next generation. Kumbula Lukanvalam. It is not about being old or young. It is not about being rich or poor. It is not about being educated or uneducated. What matters most is to protect the environment. What matters most is to protect the earth. Let's stop blaming each other. Let's stop pointing fingers to each other. Let us save the world. Let us save the world. Let us save the world. Remember, remember, remember that it is my responsibility. It is your responsibility. It is our responsibility to protect the wetlands. It is my responsibility. It is your responsibility. It is our responsibility to protect the wetlands. It is my responsibility. It is your responsibility. It is our responsibility to protect the wetlands. It is my responsibility.
learned that there are many programs like working for wetlands that are helping us to preserve and protect our wetlands. I've learned that we need to protect our wetlands because they attract tourists into our country. I've learned that wetlands are very important to us. We have to protect them. I've learned that there is a relationship between wetland degradation and climate change and that climatic problems like drought contribute a lot towards the drying up of our wetlands. I've learned that it is important to protect our wetland. We can do so by restricting access to these areas, by educating people about the importance of wetlands. Uh, I'd like to express a word of gratitude to our environment department locally or regionally for offering us these opportunities. These opportunities are not for us, are for the kids as well. I would like also to, have to thank Kikley uh, for providing us with this opportunity. I would love to say thank you to the project organizers of uh, these wetlands that today we are to tell the world that it is our responsibility to protect the wetlands. So may this project continue so that it reaches everyone's heart and mind. Whether one is educated and one is not educated, it is our responsibility to protect the wetlands. I thank you.